Good afternoon, Manufacturing All-Stars, and welcome to this episode of Manufacturing Happy Hour. Today, you are going to learn how to design a modern brewery. I'm joined by Derek Doyle and Roxanne Gorham from ProBrew. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. <laughs> Pleasure having you on. Pleasure having you here. You know, I guess my first question, being that we're going to be talking about designing a modern brewery, just for anyone that's, you know, getting up to speed, can we quickly go through what, like, the brewing process looks like in one minute, just so there's context for what we're going to be talking about? Yeah, so I, I know a lot of your listeners and followers are familiar with brewing, but mm -hmm. uh, from our standpoint, there's a, a, a similar process, you know, craft or not. It basically starts with grain coming in the door at a brewery, going through a, a, a brew house that mm -hmm. has a mash ton, a lauder ton, and then some sort of kettle whirlpool mm -hmm. that then basically condenses the wort down to a stronger Play-Doh, which is a fancy word for amount of sh sugar in the uh, wort. Mm -hmm. that, then it's sent to the cellar where it goes into fermenters and mixes with yeast and ferments for a period of seven to 10 or 14 days. Mm -hmm. And from there it, uh, is then carbonated often or filtered carbonated and put into a bright tank and then it's mm -hmm. packaged and the packaging can be anything from a, a keg to a can mm -hmm. or to a bottle essentially or put right on tap at a lot of places have a tap room so that's uh, really beneficial for their breweries yeah. absolutely one of the things that i love about brewing is the process itself it's been around for centuries like people have been doing this for a long time people do it in their garages for home brewing um, but at Pro Brew, you guys talk about, you know, brew like a pro, brewing like a pro. So when we're talking about like the modern brewery for the folks out there that are wondering, you know, let's say someone that's been brewing on a small one, two, three barrel system has maybe a brand name around a local brewery. They're looking to scale up. What, you know, what goes into designing a modern brewery? Well, that's a great question. And, and, and. A modern brewery today is different than it was even five or ten years ago. Okay. And uh, what we do is, first of all, we sit with our customers and, and, and listen to the next phase of their growth. Sure. And uh, we try to then extrapolate that into the aspects and the components and the volume and the production needs that they have. A lot of that revolves around the brewing process, the brew house per se. Mm -hmm. And today's modern breweries include a lot of automation and mm -hmm. uh, systems to assure quality and mm -hmm. consistency. And then a big element is yield and efficiency, too, because from a time standpoint, mm -hmm. because a lot of these breweries are strapped on time and space, so they need to make, maximize what they can. Um, and then we, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is providing a lot of technology that can yeah. streamline their processes. Mm -hmm. In fact, when you say, you know, it's an age old process and all mm -hmm. that, it was, it's kind of interesting. Only three years ago, did we, uh, we were awarded a patent for the process of carbonating in a centrifuge. Okay. All right. And it's pretty cool. It comes from our pro carb line of carbonation mm -hmm. technology. And when we invented it mm -hmm. or essentially developed it, we were kind of like, wow, the Germans didn't come up with this 500 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So it was, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of neat that it's always evolving and always growing. Well, a couple of cool things that I'd like to unpack there. You know, one, I love that there's still innovation in the brewing industry. Um, but Roxanne, something you and I were talking about earlier, and, and to one of your earlier points, Derek, you mentioned that a lot of breweries have constraints around what they can do. And I think there are a lot of logistics that play into designing the modern brewery like Roxanne. Maybe go into this a little bit more. You gave the example of how when you're talking to folks, a lot of people already have their space set. And you're trying to, you know, fit within those logistics. Is that correct? Yeah. A lot of our customers, they start with a space, they have the equipment that they mm -hmm. want, and they're re ready to expand. So they're going to grow from that. So it's just mm -hmm. about kind of figuring out the puzzle pieces, how they fit together, where they go, um, and really just developing the space that goes to their vision. You know, mm -hmm. every brewer has a different vision of how they want to display the equipment, if they want to display the equipment, how they want people to participate. So it's really just about knowing what every individual customer wants and bringing mm -hmm. them you know, on board and towards their vision. Love that. Well, the other thing that you mentioned, Derek, was I, I heard three key things that kind of play into modern brewing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was listening to consistency, getting that same beer over and over. There's also yield, getting the most out of what you're doing with your ingredients. And then there's that automation and that technology. 
can you kind of put those into the context of, let's say, let's start with the brew house. Like, what does that look like when you're doing a brew house? How do you optimize that process for a modern brewery? Yeah, again, Chris, that's a great question. And, you know, the reason that we recognize and that the, the craft market today is so much different than it was 10, 12, 15 years ago is that the competitiveness has reached a, a higher level. Mm -hmm. And so the breweries today, they do need to be efficient, high yield, time mm -hmm. management, and, and consistency because mm -hmm. their consumers are expecting that now. So when you start with the brew house, again, uh, our friends from Rockwell Automation definitely uh, give us the tools to automate the process. And that mm -hmm. doesn't mean like do all the work for the brewer. They can do some of the repetitive uh, automation, the recipe management and opening and closing valves and measuring time and flow mm -hmm. that are all critical inputs into the process. But by, by no means are we taking away any craft or art that right. brewers have, you know, that they are putting into their beers and their brews today. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it goes through the rest of the brew house or I mean the brewery uh, into cellar management temperature mm -hmm. simple things like temperature control of fermenters and mm -hmm. right tanks and that sort of thing which isn't something that you would want to you know manually operate so if mm -hmm. you have a plc that can do it great mm -hmm. um, and then more efficiency can be gained by again the the pro carb plus the centrifuge with inline carbonation that's basically killing two birds with one stone mm -hmm. it's centrifuging the beer and carbonating at the same time yeah. Well, what I love about the work you guys do is you really take brewing from end to end. You know, we get the example of the brew house, but as you went through it, you know, you get into packaging, you get into the carbonation, every element of that. I guess, can you maybe share a story that paints this p picture in the context of maybe something you've done in the past? Um, yeah, great. I'd say yeah. raised grain. Yeah. I'd say raised grain for sure. Yeah, yeah that they uh, they came to us. They were already pretty established in the mm -hmm. community. Um, small little seven barrel system, and they decided that they they wanted to have another production facility, and they're going to make it big. Mm -hmm. And it really was just one of those revolutionary ideas that they they wanted somebody who could do it all, but they had all these little quirks, these little ideas that they wanted. Mm -hmm. And they met with us, they met with the engineers, and we put it all together for them. And to this day, it's still about innovating and coming up with different tools that help them brew better every mm -hmm. single day. And their beer is consistent. It's a huge hit. Distribution mm -hmm. is on point. They're everywhere. So it's really been, it's really one of our staple, our staple customers. Love that. And I think for the folks viewing, you might have picked up on this at this point, but that's a lot of the images you're seeing uh, were from earlier Raised Grain Brewing. So that's a perfect example of what you've been doing. I guess I think a lot of people watching this um, are probably wondering, okay, so yeah, I want to scale up. I've heard some examples, but what would you say is a good starting point for someone that does want to design that modern brewery? Um, again, it, it first of all, I hate the put a shameless plug in there, but you know, <laughs> definitely con contact uh, the folks at ProBrew. Yep. Um, but we, what, what's interesting about us at ProBrew is that we, we do deal with some of the biggest breweries in the world, the Anheuser-Busch's, the Sam Adams, the Miller Coors, et cetera. And so we have a lot of that know-how and we have that, mm -hmm. those engineering resources and that technology yeah. that we can take that and right size it for an up and coming craft brewery. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have the passion to do that and the love of the product and the love of the success for our customers. Love that. And I think what you've, you've made it clear that regardless of the scale you get to, if you're a craft brewer, that craft is still a part of it, even if you have the latest tools and modern technology helping you perfect your beverages. So where can people go to find more information about ProBrew as we wrap up this video? Oh, www.prober.com, or you can email us at contact at prober.com. Perfect. Well, I will have a link to that below this video, as always. In the meantime, Roxanne, Derek, yeah. thanks so much for being on the show. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. 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 And for those of you out there, stay innovative, stay thirsty. We'll catch you back here on Manufacturing Happy Hour real soon. Cheers. Cheers.